Welcome to our podcast, which was voted one of the best in the marketing research industry, both in 2019 and again in 2020. You've reached Research Business Daily Report, the only daily research news video over the last 10 years that has presented a look at one of the top stories in our industry, Monday through Thursday most weeks. RBDR does rely on viewers' support, so you can pitch in by contributing at patreon.com slash rbdr, and we'll tell you more about that a little bit later. I'm Bob Lederer, and I'm in my 26th year as the respected voice in market research. Until recently, brands relied on third-party cookies to track visitors and to also collect data so that those brands could target their advertising. But as we all know now, the age of the cookie is fading away. Thanks to the lead from the General Data Protection Regulation, and now adopted by most marketing groups. We're all awaiting announcements of alternative to cookies from varied organizations and most especially the leader in the category, Google. Katie Chitrichorn, Vogue Business's retail and marketing editor, reported recently about some immediate cookie alternatives for companies that exist in the luxury category. Take, for instance, Bottega Veneta, which has shut down all of its social media accounts and instead is turning to out-of-home advertising and community events where its community or fans are most reachable. Nike is prioritizing local stores and community engagement to build direct-to-consumer relationships, and they are not alone in doing so. Even those options, however, don't necessarily go far enough for a number of marketers. Engaging with customers directly first about their customer experience with the brand, and secondarily about developing an understanding about the needs of buyers and customers as they actually buy have become key focus points. Marketers call such data zero-party data, and that tells marketers how customers plan their purchasing in the future. Chit Crahorn noticed that Direct-to-consumer lingerie brand Third Love is asking consumers to fill out an online quiz with their personal information, but that's considered intrusive in many cases. Those consumers receive recommendations for their best bra choice, and the collected data informs product development and spotlights size changes. But Saks Fifth Avenue CMO Emily Essner admits that the business that she runs treats zero-party data as the voice of the customer. And some high brands want their information collection, quote, to feel luxurious. As a result, they rely on sales associates and personal shoppers to reach out to consumer, uh, customers and to do the data collection. And it happens slowly. One last crucial point about luxury brands and data collection. Consumers are so past the idea of a transactional relationship with a brand. Instead, what's hot? Anything that makes consumers feel that they have developed and are continuing a one-to-one -one relationship with a brand of their choice. That's a wrap-up on today's Research Business Daily Report and for this week. As we mentioned at the start of this RBDR, we hope you'll become a supporter, an RBDR Patreon supporter to be exact, which means agreeing to provide a monthly contribution via credit card, perhaps 5 to $10 if you're an individual, or about $120 a year, and $25 or more a month if you are a business. Both of those types of contributions certainly help us to free our costs and to maintain the excellence of what we consider RBDR Excellence in Reporting. Recently, we welcomed two new Patreon supporting research organizations, Rare Patient Voice and Survey Healthcare, and we thank both for their support. For the remainder of you that are viewing us today, is there anything we can do to earn your support? Certainly, you're watching RBDR. You wouldn't be hearing my message right now, and if that's the case, are you taking us for granted? It's a question I do need to ask. Give it a thought and then visit RBDR's exclusive crowdfunding platform at patreon.com slash rbdr, where you can select whatever level of support is comfortable for you. 
And whatever level that may turn out to be, well, we do thank you in advance. And so while we await your decisions, we hope you have a good research day and that this has been a good research week for you. Have a great weekend. We'll be looking back here for you on Monday. And until then, take whatever steps you need in order in these precarious times to stay safe.